Wow, wasn't that lovely? Our younger ones, they have certainly set the stage for us. They have inspired us. Thank you very much. David and I had the opportunity to receive from our presenters from the breakout sessions, summary of what happened. So we had little flies on the walls to hear what was happening there. And we have looked at the submissions that we received, and we came up with eight themes. Try to put everything together, so we're going to be looking at them. So a great way to start is that we were inspired by our youth. <clears throat> we need to understand our young people, understand that there are endless possibilities for them. And that is one of the reasons we are in education. We are not here to give just technical skills. As you would have seen, what they stirred three times, empathy, compassion, collaboration. So we, as educators, we have to look at the whole being. We have to look at the whole person, so the social skills. So those were some of the things that came out of um, our sessions. Over to you, David. Yeah, thanks, Donna, and thanks to the youth. It was fantastic. I mean, uh, the next theme is about TVET itself, because what's come through incredibly strongly over the last few days is just how important we are for the future of our planet. We need people all over the world and all over um, every country to have the technical skills as well as the wider skills to be able to adapt um, to the changing world of work, to new technology, to new ways of working, to more inclusive practices. So if now isn't the time for TVET, it's never the time for TVET. So it's a time for us to stand up, it's a time for us to be proud of ourselves as vital for the future of our countries um, and our planet. So we need to use that as a launching pad for the future. Donna. Great. And we have learned, we were reminded that we have to unlearn and relearn. So there's always opportunities for a lifelong learning. So what came out of some of the discussions, lifelong learning should be given more attention. So there should be no age limit as to who can access what um, educational opportunities are available be it scholarships, be it to do a new program, but lifelong learning needs to be, um, for more focus should be given on lifelong learning because based on what is happening in, our, in the world globally, we will have to learn, relearn several times. And COVID is a perfect example. Many persons were not off of it, with the technology. So now we had to learn how to do Zoom meetings, how to do um, Teams. We just have to relearn. And uh, um, that was one very salient point that came out. Over to you, David. Thank you. And if TVET is now, then leaders of TVET need to step up. We're often the sector that kind of feels a bit hard done by, aren't we? we the schools and the universities get so much airtime. They get so much attention. Everyone knows what a school is. Everyone knows what a university is. But TVET, I mean, even the name is a bit hard to swallow. Um, and it's not a name that, pe that kind of trips off the tongue. Lots of people have never been into a college. Lots of people have never understood the power of technical education. Lots of people have never seen the kind of the passion of students, the equipment that's used, the cutting edge technology that's being taught. And we need to step up much more and say, actually, let's really get, grab that space. We're as important as schools. We're as important as universities. But actually, too often we don't kind of act as if we are. We need to just puff our chests up a bit. And we need to be much prouder about it. We must, we must kind of elbow out a bit of space for us to exist in. 
Um, so leaders of TVET, and that means teachers, it means you know, administrators, it means policy makers, it means people in you know, the European Union and the UNESCO and all of those. We need to work together to say, let, there's a space we need to inhabit and we need to be really, really confident in that space. Donna. Great. Engaging employers and helping them to succeed. We need to include employers more into what we do in education. We need to capitalize on the expertise that they have in the industry. We need to use them, not use them, we need to engage them so that they can provide new skills for our lecturers. Our lecturers will, faculty will get the opportunity to interact with newer technology, newer machines, so that our learners can benefit from this. We also need to explore public-private partnerships with the employers in the community so they can develop the community, not just have their business there and just engage workers, but feel a part of the community, whether it is through sports, through a welfare program, but as educators, as leaders of tertiary institutions, engage the employers for our curriculum development and review. Have them on our advisory board. We heard about micro-credentials where these short courses are developed to meet the needs of the industry, of the employers, so we need to get them engaged more. And colleges themselves need to engage more. So colleges aren't just about delivering training. They're not just a narrow kind of, kind of transactional thing. You go to a college and you learn some technical skills and you leave. They're much more than that. They're big employers. They have a massive role in the community. They have a big role in economic development. They can help generate jobs. They can help generate new employers. They can help generate self-employment. They can support employers to grow. They can support the community in ways through, as Donna was saying, through kind of opening up to cultural things like theatre, like sport, like volunteering, social action by young people that can bring the, the community into the college and the, the college out into the community. So we've got to work much more s s cleverly as, as, as institutions, again, to have that profile and have that imprint on the place in which they're inhabiting. Because colleges are what we're in the UK we call anchor institutions. They're, if, if you don't have a college in a community, then you really need one. It's kind of, you have to have one, just the same as a school. If there's no school in a, in a community, it's not a community. We think that if there's no college in a community, it's not a proper community. Because lifelong learning, TVET, you know, learning f for the changing world of work requires everybody to have access to that local asset. And the community is really important to colleges. Inclusion, very topical. We need to agree on what is meant by inclusion. Take a broader look at inclusion. Inclusion to mean being inclusive in your own space, in your work environment. Um, how do we get each person to have a sense of belonging, irrespective of what you take to the workplace, the culture of the workplace, but getting everyone to have a sense of belonging. You feel like you're a part of this process, you're a part of this entity, you're a part of this institution. So we need to have a general meaning of what is inclusion. And then the final point is a campaigning point, really, because what I think we heard a lot through the last few days is um, we need to shout louder as a sector. We need to engage more. We need to go out and tell people about what we do because we are vital. You know, we are absolutely vital for the future. The world of work is changing, technology is changing, all of those things are, are happening. And colleges need to be invested in, they need to be supported, they need to be part of the future in a sustainable way. And in too many countries, um, perhaps all countries, I don't know, someone might put their hand up and say, we've got the perfect place and everything's fine, but I've not heard anyone say that yet. In too many countries, the colleges are the ones who feel like they, they're just not getting the support and the resources. So this is a point for the World Federation of Colleges and Poly Polytechnics. We're both on the board. What I think we'll take away 
is to say, what can we do to bring people together, to promote TVET, to promote colleges, to raise the profile, to raise the confidence that we have about the place we have in our society, the place we have in our economy, the place colleges have within the education system. So let's campaign together. Let's carry on learning together. Let's make sure that the next World Congress is just as good as this one. Um, let's make sure it's in a lovely place as well. And let's come together regularly on Teams or Zoom. Let's share much more. Let's build ourselves up as a sector so that when we come back in two years and four years and six years, we can look back and say, that was the turning point. That was the point we started to step up. We started to be heard. We started to get what we need to help people get the skills that they need, to help employers get the skills that they need, because that would be a fantastic change. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us.